Good morning, Menlo Park, and welcome to the Arbor Day celebration. Uh, thanks for spending your Saturday morning with us um, as we celebrate Menlo Park as being a Tree City USA for 21 consecutive years. Uh, for today's agenda, you'll hear from the city arborist who will explain um, what the importance is of, a tree of being a Tree City USA. Then you'll hear from the mayor who will say a few words and we'll read the proclamation. Um, and you'll also learn a few fun facts about the ceremonial tree, which is behind whoops, behind me right here, which is the Valley Oak. Um, and lastly, we'll wrap up the event with a ceremonial planting. All right, so today we're not just celebrating um, one tree, we're not just planting one tree, two trees, but we're planting 12 trees. Um, near the main library, which is at the corner of Ravens Wood and Elma Street. Um, 12 trees are being planted today as part of the mitigation plan from removing um, the seven redwoods at 1000 El Camino Real. To date, uh, 14 trees have been planted on site at the property. 17 street trees were planted at the Bellhaven neighborhood. And today we're planting 12 trees. So total, we've uh, Canopy has been planting 43 trees. Um, if you know anybody who lives in Bell Haven neighborhood and would like a tree planted by the residency, please contact my, Maya Briones at 650-964-6110. Again, her phone number is 650-964-6110, extension four. Um, or you can email her at maya at canopy.org. That is M-A-Y-A -A at canopy.org. All right, so without further ado, I would like to introduce the city arborist to explain what it means for Menlo Park to be a Tree City USA. Good morning and happy Arbor Day, Menlo Park. Menlo Park is celebrating Arbor Day for the 22nd year in a row uh, as the designee for the Tree City USA Award that's awarded by the Arbor Day Foundation. Arbor Day began in 1872 with a celebrational planting in Nebraska that really grew out of a desire for more trees to be planted in developed and urban areas as immigrants were migrating westward in the United States. <clears throat> Since that time, millions of trees have been planted around the United States. All 50, all 50 states recognize Arbor Day. And uh, in California, it's recognized uh, for an entire week. So the Arbor Day Foundation recognizes city that prioritize and make a commitment to maintaining the urban forest and trees in a sustainable way. The designation provides a framework for that maintenance. There's four essential components of the Tree City USA Award, which include having a tree board, which is represented by the, the Environmental Quality Commission in Menlo Park, having a tree ordinance, and having an urban forestry program with a, a modest per capita spending requirement that the city uh, easily achieves and has exceeded uh, for some years now. And finally, to have an Arbor Day proclamation and celebration, which is why we are gathered here today. So thank you all for joining that, joining us. And with that, uh, I would like to introduce the mayor of Menlo Park, Drew Combs. Hello, uh, my name is oh, yeah, forget, Drew Combs. I'm mayor of Menlo Park for, for 2021. Good to be with everyone this morning. I'm going to start off by reading the, the National Arbor Day proclamation from the city and is whereas National Arbor Day is observed on the on the last Friday of April each year by many states across the country for the community planting of trees and whereas the benefits of trees as part of a stable global environment are well recognized and whereas the special importance of trees 
in urban areas must be maintained to improve air quality, provide shade, prevent erosion of topsoil and sedimentation in, in waterways, main, maintain clim, climatic balance and decrease wind velocities. And whereas the city of Menlo Park was historically forested by stands of oak, bay and other trees, and whereas the preservation and planting of trees is necessary for the continued health and welfare of the citizens of this city in order to preserve the scenic beauty and historic value of trees. And whereas the city of Menlo Park is well known for its numerous and beautiful trees, which truly enhances the desirability of Menlo Park to live, work and play. And whereas this is the 22nd anniversary uh, of the city of Menlo Park being recognized as a member of the Arbor Days Foundation's Tree City USA group. And whereas this is the sixth year, the city of Menlo Park demonstrating to a higher level of tree care and community engagement as a member of the Arbor Day Foundation's growth group. And whereas the planting of a tree uh, with Mayor Cones and uh, members of the Environmental Quality Commission and staff symbolizes the strong relationship values and historic significance of Menlo Park's trees. Now, therefore, I, Mayor Combs, on behalf of the City Council of Menlo Park, acknowledge the planting of a valley oak at Burgess Park at 701 Laurel Street on March 27th in recognition and celebration of National Arbor Day and affirm the City Council's commitment to protect and enhance Menlo Park's urban, urban forests. And so, um, I just wanted to add to, to the proclamation of thanking uh, the, the city staff, uh, the Environmental Quality Commission, uh, um, and, and partners like, like Canopy for, for, for their work in, in, um, in preserving the, the, uh, uh, the city's canopy uh, and, and also growing it. Uh, that's been like an important part of, of showing Menlo Park's commitment. Uh, each year, we, we, we meet to affirm this, this commitment to, to our trees and celebrate the, the city's uh, designation as, as a tree city. Uh, my hope is that this year, the fact that we're, we're, we're actually meeting in person uh, will provide an additional uh, indication of, of, of a recovery of, of us as a community um, in Menlo Park and obviously our larger country and, 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 and world uh, emerging from, uh, from, from, from the pandemic. Um, I just wanted to, to, to note that um, it was, I think about a year and a half ago, we, we completed a, what was a multi-year process of, update, of updating our, our heritage tree ordinance. Um, and it, it came as, as the result of, of hours and hours of work by residents and partners, some of which are here, here today. And so as we plant the ceremonial tree, for me, uh, what I will, will, will think of is, is the commitment of, of the residents, again, on that, that Heritage Tree Commission, but then the residents uh, in, in the community, uh, what they do every year in sort of preserving trees and growing our, our canopy. Um, so, so really glad to be able to, to, to celebrate this accomplishment. Uh, glad that we're able to, to meet here in, in, in person. Uh, and with that, I think I'll turn it back over to, to Joanna. All right, so now I would like to invite the mayor, uh, Combs, city manager, Starla Jerome Robinson, um, EPC commissioner, Josie Gallard, uh, to do the ceremony planting. As they shyly walk towards me. <laughs> All right, so as the mayor does the ceremonial planting, I'll, um, here are some fun facts about Valley Oaks. Um, so let's start off with a joke in case there's kids out there. Where do saplings go to school? Elementary school. <laughs> All right, so Valley Oaks, um, they can reach up to 20 feet in five years. 
40 feet in 10 years and up to 60 feet in 20 years. Um, fun fact is when a fresh leaf is rubbed or broken, it gives out an aromic uh, scent. It, it kind of re reminds you of a forest smell. Um, Valley oaks can tolerate wild, uh, wild fires. And the last fact is acorn woodpeckers, western scrub jay, yellow-billed magpie, and California ground squirrels are a few birds and mammals who eat the acorns. All right, very nice. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> as we wrap up this event, I just want to say thank you to the Can Be volunteers and the organization uh, for today's planting. Um, planting 12 trees at the business campus this weekend. Um, Thank you, the City Arborist Christian and the EQC, Ryan Price, for coordinating this event. And for the mayor, and Mayor Combs and uh, City Manager, Starla Jerome Robinsons for celebrating Arbor Day with us today. Uh, feel free to check out these trees um, during the weekend. It's a great weekend. Um, so again, my name is Joanna Chen, the uh, Sustainability Specialist. Uh, live from you today at the Bridges campus. Uh, that's the morning news for this Saturday morning. Uh, enjoy this weekend and have a great day. Thank you.